Gang, first question was UK. I was going to start with Bangladesh, but let's do UK. Okay. UK, we had as in war, supporting war, and in civil war, right? So what's happening in the UK uh, is basically what's happening in most Western countries. But UK is kicking up a notch because UK, they have, uh, the UK government has, where's our empire complex or something, blowing, uh, huffing and puffing everywhere, thinking that the UK is actually a military might, that it's not. It is a, still a financial might, but dropping fast right if you want to know about the three cities you got the vatican london and uh, washington dc washington dc you know if, if you go down the rabbit hole washington dc being the military might london being the financial might vatican being the spiritual might of the the axis of evil <laughs> right if you want to think about it but london is collapsing right uk is collapsing now this is What's happening is the mass migration that's happened in the UK, uh, violence kicking up, government bringing in draconian laws, surveillance, elimination of privacy, inflation of the yin yang, recession going down the toilet, you know, economy going down the toilet, all of it because of waging war, supporting war, right? The civil war aspect of it is, we've talked about this a lot, I've written about it in the mid uh, 2000s and referenced it multiple times over the last 20 years or something like this is by design by centralized power to collapse your nations or our nations in the western world to roll out draconian laws to eliminate privacy to uh, do a great reset because economically financially the western world is done right it it cannot compete with the giants of where the population centers are in the world, this gigantic continent that is now rising, right? So what they need to do is quell unrest, right? Suppress unrest, civil unrest. They have to suppress it to maintain control. And this was by design because they knew, Western powers knew, NATO Western powers knew that when they started waging war in the if you want to call it the global south that when they started annihilating different countries there was going to be mass migration happening to the western world as part of the great replacement right Gaddafi in libya said it he said if you remove me if you do what you plan to do the floodgates will open up and millions of refugees migrants mass migration and invasion some people refer to it is going to flood into europe and it will be your end right so extremely important to understand two concepts with two concepts with what's going on three things that you have to keep in mind with what's going on in the uk what is coming to the rest of the western world what is what is going to happen is happening already began in the united states in Sweden, in Germany, in France, that it's coming to everywhere in the Western world. Three things. One, the cause. The cause has been war. Western nations destroying other nations. Once you go into a country like Libya and raise it, destroy it, right? Bomb the crap out of it make it a dysfunctional nation, remove the power structure there that was providing. Look into what Gaddafi provided to his citizens, right? Before he was violently removed and Libya was taken down from the most prosperous country in all of Africa, this whole area that you can fit the United States, China, all, all of Europe in here and stuff like that. this whole continent Libya was at the highest standard of living they took Libya that had the highest standard of living and destroyed it 
where there was open slave markets in Libya. What do you think is going to happen when that happens, when that occurs, when Western nations do this? You can just have a little door. Just imagine a little door open up here. Ooh, mass migration into Europe, right? It's the same stuff that happened in Latin America, right? Look at Honduras, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton supporting Honduras, supporting Libya, annihilation, supporting war with Syria, supporting war with Yemen. So that's the number one thing you have to appreciate. The cause of this mass migration is the wars that Western nations have been waging across the global south for decades. So our ancestors, our parents and grandparents, they bear a huge part of the responsibility of what is taking place because they didn't and we didn't, right? I'm much older than most of you guys. We didn't stop our nations from annihilating other countries so the floodgates would open up. I think I made that point. I was trying to bang it with a nail on a hammer, right? The second thing you have to appreciate that this is by design. The Western governments, the Western power structure knew that the economic collapse of the Western world was coming and they needed to maintain control. They dumbed down our societies in a big way, right? They flooded it with open the gates. Look into uh, uh, Gary Webb in the 1980s, okay, where he wrote an in-depth article, The Dark Alliance, which documented the CIA flooding the United States with cocaine and crack cocaine, right? Who's the biggest drug dealer in the world? right it's not this cartel here that cartel here that cartel here afghanistan opium it comes from there but who has been the the greatest drug dealer in the world for decades upon decades the cia right so gary webb wrote an in-depth article the dark alliance explaining how drugs were funneled and you have the same type of organizations doing it to Europe, just funneled into our nations to dumb down our society, make us weak as the saying goes. Weak men bring bad times, bad times bring up, 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 up. strong men. What our governments in the West fear are strong men and women, right? So this took, this has taken multiple years, right? Multiple decades to reach this level where our societies are weak and now it was time to do the great replacement to bring in slave labor kick down the standard of living in the western world because when they these clowns that are ruling over us right now when they say they want to improve society bring equality and stuff like this they don't mean lifting people out of poverty in other nations it means kicking us in that are living in the Western world down to the poverty level, which is exactly what they're doing. Anybody could have told you in the last four years, when you shut down the global economy, what you do, you annihilate small business, you destroy it. You basically wreak havoc with an economy and that is not going to be fixed by removing your dictates and mandates, okay? That's number two. This was by design. It has taken decades to do, right? So number one, Western intervention, Western wars on the global south created the mass migration. Number two, this was by design to great replacement or to think about it this way that the powers that shouldn't be that can maintain their power, our oligarchic system, technocratic system. Number three, the people that are protesting and trying to hold our governments accountable for mass migration are 100% correct, right? 
because they might not understand that the wars is the reason that this is happening and this was by design but they are reacting to what our governments have done in the late stages of their plan saying what's going on so the masses in large degree a lot of people were, were warning us right but the masses in large degree are now have now woken up to the reality of what centralized power in the western world is doing and they're rising up hence civil war or civil unrest right we'll call it civil unrest for now but if this continues and it will continue like this we might go back to this yellow thing there to being more civil war or bring in another color to distinguish between the civil unrest and the civil war so what's happening in the uk okay is one of the it's not a canary in a coal mine that was a canary died a long time ago right? like canary, people should have realized hey the canary dead man like that, that done and the masses now are going hey, the canary is dead no kidding like don't you, didn't you guys see this coming so this is the mass protest here or in reaction to people waking up to hey economies collapsing jobs are disappearing dr draconian uh, laws mandates are being put into place to surveil us to take away our privacy to take away our anonymity and to reduce our choices okay to reduce our choices now one thing i'll say about the uk and this applies to france and sweden canada united states everywhere that's coming you have to understand who was who is behind these or at least one of the factions that is behind what's happening okay the factions that are behind what's happening are the globalist or the world economic forum puppets and their puppet masters right or some of the central banks and the large corporations and one of the factions that is hugely in support of what's happening are the zionist and the neocons okay because the neocons under only understand war and the zionists are playing the masses right because if you look at the uk look into who bought bought roberts what's his name Tom. His real name is something else, right? <laughs> it's all the God knows what his background is and what he did when he went to Israel, right? And uh, he started saying, Zion is great, right? And look into who's in positions of power in the UK. And the same applies in the United States and Canada in much of the Western world, right? stand with israel right now exactly crazy crazy 